if it's expensive to fix something that needs to match the other side, how's about you just break the good side? Here is an ingenious way of making your car symmetrical and passing your safety inspection, for example, WAF here in NZ, MOT in the UK, and meh in certain states of the US. Regular viewers of this channel will know that my production qualities are generally inverse to my desire to be able to fix stuff rather than having to throw it away. Um, and here we have a perfect example. So all I've got for you is photos from a friend who figured this out themselves and is bashful about being in front of a camera. Thank you, Sean. You'll save people thousands. As you saw in one of my moans, to sort out a blown daytime running light on your LED headlight, not just Tesla, is practically impossible. You need to replace the whole damn thing. So without going into too much of a rant about that, here's Sean's take. Um, rather than fixing the one that has gone bad, certainly in New Zealand, it seems you only need to make the car symmetrical to pass the safety check and there's no real standards on daytime running lights. So, if like my car, and a couple of other people's that I know, and Sean's, um, has the top part of the running light go on one side, you could spend a thousand or two thousand, whatever the hell it is, on replacing that, or you could figure out how to disable it on the other side too. And that's exactly what Sean's done. So essentially, he messed around with cables and found that the pin in the picture, I believe it's the fourth from the top, but look at the pictures, don't listen to my stupid voice, is the one you pull out, and that stops the upper daytime running light from being on, which means that you have a matched car, which means you'll pass your safety inspection and still look cool, if that's what you care about. Allegedly, you just need to take the front bumper off and take the cover off the headlight that you want to disable. Um, and bingo, away you go. Probably you want to pull the pin out the other side as well, because you might have a few crappy ones just about functioning, you might not. Anyway, that's the size of it. I shall stop waffling now, and I shall go and stick this voice onto Sean's photos and hopefully make something that makes sense and, as I've said, save you guys money. If it does save you money, as in you don't need to buy a whole headlamp, how do you feel about giving half of it to something important? Not me. Don't, don't go and put a Patreon for me and don't go find Sean either. Um, pick a charity. For me at the moment, it's the UNHCR, who are trying to deal with all kinds of humanitarian refugee crises all around the world, caused by our stupid system that also causes these unrepairable headlights. Um, or something like Give Directly, which is giving money straight to people in the most need in the most needy countries with no strings attached. Um, so yeah, if you've just saved a bunch of cash, think about spending a little bit of that saving on something other than yourself or on where it would have gone before, which is to line Elon's fat pockets. All right, now I really am going to stop. See ya.